if you couldn't tell from the intro, we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting effect within the color tab of DaVinci Resolve that's going to take our grades and add a lot of contrast into them, and it's probably not where you're thinking it is. So we're basically going to take a clip that looks like this in shot in Canon C-Log1, or you could supplement this with anything in any sort of log profile, and we're going to turn it into something that looks like this, which... It, it's pretty awesome. Obviously, we're going to start out with a pretty standard conversion from the long color space into a Rec. 709 color space, which will correct all the colors and make it so it's ready to be graded. So once we have our base node, we're going to do Alt S, or you could alternatively right click, go down to add node and do add serial, and it would do the same exact thing. And we're going to drag our color space transform effect, which I have starred over here, but you can search up in the open effects panel, drag it over onto the second node here, and then we'll have that. And I'm just going to go and label that as our CSD or color space transform. This was shot in Canon log one within the Canon cinema gamut. So we click that and you'll see it immediately starts to make some changes. And then we're going to do Canon log. Um, this was before my camera got the Canon log three update. So I don't have that yet. And it already looks pretty great straight like right there. But if you're trying to deliver for something like Rec. 709, you have to do that, and then set your output gamma to Rec. 709, which would be down here, and it immediately goes back up to being a more contrasty thing. Now, alternatively for YouTube, what most people do is set this to sRGB, and we could work with that today. It's very similar, um, and this is it's gonna have the best colors for um, YouTube. Rec. 709 and sRGB are very commonly used. So now that we have that, it looks okay. It's not the best. Um, there obviously is some work that needs to be done on the footage, and that's where we're going to add another node, and we're just going to do our special trick on here, which is what this video is about. So we're going to go up to the OpenFX panel and type in glow. And you might be thinking, Rocco, why are you going to put a glow effect onto a clip in order to get it to look more contrasty? And you'll see why. This is something that isn't exactly commonly used and probably not the original intended purpose of the glow. It can be used as a way to diffuse your highlights as you're seeing over there. But this is really useful. By default, it says the compositing mode to add, but we can select this drop down and go down to soft light and boom, look at that. It already added contrast into the image. And now we're gonna check out the shine threshold. And this will basically allow us to, to select how smooth our roll off is. And it's automatically adding contrast into the image and creating a smooth, nice, kind of creamy, diffused highlight look, which is something I really like. If you don't want that, you don't, you probably would just do it normally with correcting, you know, with contrast and lift gamma gain, whatnot. But this allows you to get those super nice, just so creamy highlights like that. You can go super out with this look. And that I think that looks great, but uh, just for intensive purposes, we don't need it to be super intense. So we'll just go there. And that's pretty good. And this is where you can adjust things such as the spread, which is gonna, you know, more spread, more, more blurry. I like to keep it right in there. So it's just isolated to that one area without it, and then with it, it's, uh, it makes such a nice difference. It makes things so much more smooth. And it doesn't, it's not like making your image less sharp. It just makes it more natural, I think. And this, th this is something that a lot of people that like to emulate film with their videos will do and have nice blooming highlights. And this, sometimes you'll like to have less contrast in the shadows my personal style goes for a lot more contrast in the shadows so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to label label this as the glow and basically right there we have a good looking video we can play that back and that just looks pretty great but obviously there's some things i'm going to add to that it is a little shaky so i'm going to go back over to the base here you can do this on any node i'm going to go down to window stabilizer and click stabilize this usually works really well just at its default and it's going to analyze it, stabilize it, and let's play that again. And boom, that's super stable, super nice. And I think it's time to do my personal grading style. So now that we have the diffused highlights just with one node, if you saw my other diffused highlights tutorial, which is still a great way to do it and it works great, 
I there are so many different ways you can do diffuse highlights. I'm starting to like this way a lot more than the other one, and that's why I'm making this video because it can be really helpful. And there are a lot more. There's a lot more control you have within this glow tab. You have the opacity. Like if you adjust the opacity, like you can really change the intensity of this. Um, but I like to keep that somewhere around 0.5. Right there, that's pretty good. And you're gonna adjust brightness, whatnot, all of these amazing controls. You have such good control over it. So it's like the more advanced version of diffused highlights, but this, by selecting the soft light composite mode, it would add more contrast into the image. So that's the effect before, very flat, lacking contrast, and then after, look at that. It looks so good. And then you can obviously do a bit more like that actually that's probably good right there to there that's awesome that's pretty much perfect and now a lot of you have asked to see what my grading process is so i'm going to create a new node and just do grade that's where i'm going to do all my adjustments and we're going to start there and i'm going to show you guys how i grade one of my clips so let's go back over to the grade and personally i think since it's shot in the rain it needs to be a bit more moody so what i like to do is head over to my um, wheels, which is lift, gamma, and gain. I'm going to drop down the lift a little bit to give it a bit more contrast. And you can see over here in the um, waveform, I want to have the darkest parts of the image sitting at zero. And it looks like we are getting that down in here. You can see nice contrast. I'm going to add a bit more contrast and that's going to give us a bit more, maybe lift up the gamma a little bit. And it's really just small adjustments that I like to do here like that, that's good. I like to cool off the shadows a little bit by going into the curve, selecting just the red channel, and then going to add default anchors. That'll create some default anchors for us. And by taking away red from the shadows here, it's gonna cool down. You see, that's like a lot, that's a lot of it. But if we do just a little bit right there, that looks really good. And then of course, what I want to do is I wanna make sure that the darkest parts of the image are completely black. So I'm going to, and the brightest parts of the image will be completely white as well. You don't have to do this, but this is just what I like to do. And that ruins the image. So we got to drag this over and make it just the darkest parts. Cause we still want to have that cooled off effect, but still have like, it's, it's more cooled off, but it is still dark and hitting complete pitch black pixels in here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go over into the hue versus hue tab. And this is where I'm going to take my colors and adjust them. And uh, if you know anything about me, I like to go for a slightly more um, green look, like a deep green. So if you see here, I'm dragging this down and it, it this like, that's, oh, that's purple now. But if you go just a little bit down, slight minor adjustments, I'm gonna drag this over here too. So the yellows are affected too. I want it to kind of be a uniform sort of green there. And that that's starting to look good, but it's way too saturated. You know me, this is in the rain. I went out in, on purpose in the rain to shoot this clip. So what we have to do is desaturate the greens and get that moody, nice moody look there. Look at that. So this is looking great. That's super moody. I love that. That's awesome. And wow, I mean, straight out of the gate. Look at that. That's let's just play it back from the beginning. Oh, and it's it's slow motion too, so you can kind of see the rain falling down. Oh, it just looks so good. But yeah, and that is how I use the glow effect to add a bit more contrast into my image and also provide a smooth roll off on the highlights. And if we just took out the glow from this equation, like. I'm disabling the glow and it's just my grade in the color space transform. It's like, wow, it's something you don't have to do it this way. You could adjust it other ways, but it's super simple and it adds so much to the clip. And I'm actually using it right now on this clip, which is um, shot in Canon C log three. So it's a different log space, but using the glow effect on this one will also create a nice smooth roll off with good contrast. Anyways, if you are interested in learning more about DaVinci Resolve, especially in the color tab and just general editing, I have lots of tutorials on my channel and lots of content coming along the way. So a subscription would be much appreciated, especially with notifications on and also a, dropping a like is much appreciated as well. And let me know what you think in the comments of this video. What is your favorite effect within the color tab in DaVinci Resolve or whatever software you use. And uh, thank you for watching, especially to the end. I'm Rocco Germani, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.